So if you saw in my last video, I had a little bit of a faux pas on this engine, but I've got a solution right over there. Um, so I'm gonna work on this, and by the end of this video, this engine will be in that car. I hope. I'm bloody certain that red is different to that. It most definitely is. Ugh. All right. So what I've got here is the new bearing and seal for the back of that eave shaft. So I'll get that in soon as, and I have an FD front cover gasket on this when I reassembled this engine because I've hacked so much of this out. Um, I didn't use the RX-8 gasket because it's just too big, but that FD gasket will actually fit in there nicely. So I'll take this front cover back off, get rid of all the silicon in there, repaint this, I guess, and um, and then yeah, go from there. That's a really, really close fit. Just, just over here. That's all, this hole over here is just um, misaligned a little bit. But all the rest of them, perfect. So that's all good. This doesn't bother me at all. I'll just um, knock those bits where I've marked and go from there. Everything should be good now, I'm hoping. So yeah, that's, where did I do it? It's up there. It's all cleaned up up there, so it's just a case of sliding this back on. And then um, having a look at that arm um, bearing on the back of the engine. Okay, front cover's all back on and good. A um, little bit happier with that red now, it matches a lot better. Uh, now it's time to get the bearing down into there. Should be a piece of cake. Now it's a manual e shaft. Bearings in there, and so is the seal. That went in a piece of cake, so that's that problem solved. Next thing I need to do is I need to wrap this and get the sump on. Shouldn't take me too long, and then start clearing some mess out of this. Um, well, that actually looks really bad in there. Oh well, start ripping shit out. Actually, before I do any of that, I need to put the clutch on. Next thing is, I need to find the clutch. Mean. That took a little while to find. It was in the boot of the RX-8. So I've just scattered parts everywhere by the looks of it. But this clutch is still all right, it's not too bad. Yeah, just go second hand and send it. Should be right. All right, I'll get this on and we'll move on from there. So got the clutch on, sump's just sitting there, but just noticed on this flywheel has these little nubs here for the clutch, which actually raise it up a little bit. If anyone knows what that's about, can you let me know? Because on the other engines I've done, these nubs weren't there and we tried to put the clutch on and it just didn't work. We couldn't disengage it off the flywheel. So I'm not 100% sure what that's all about, but yeah, once again, if you know, um, can you please let me know? I'm um, just going to go ahead and wrap this now and give this a good clean out. Uh, I've got a gasket there, so I'll get that on once and for all. So I've spent probably the last hour and a half just mucking around with this. I've got the wrap on the headers there. That's all bolted in nice and good. We've got the gasket in there. Clean this out. That's all good to go. Got the second row of injectors in there now. So that's all good. It's such easy access to it now. Um, if I'm not mistaken, all I'm going to have across the top of the engine now is just this fuel line, which would be mean. Um, I'm 
probably going to change this out because I don't need this stupid thing that goes up like that. Now I can just run an old school type one with a uh, caps just right here. So I'll have a dig through my shit and see if I've got one. Um, yeah, clutch is on. No, it's good. Um, as soon as this goes in the car, then I will be sizing up my alternator over here and just run that belt just like that. Should be all good. And then I just need to suss out where I'm going to run my um, water pipes for this. But oh, it's another day. One thing I'd actually forgotten to do was block this off. This is the, um, I don't know, heater hose out the back of the block. I'm not gonna run no heat up, so what I'll do is I'll just cut this down, probably just straight through there, cap that off and just bang that back in. So to make things easy, I'm just gonna cap this off with just over a 10 cent or a 20 cent piece. By the looks, it might be the 10 cent piece. <laughs> That'll work. Ten cent piece. You know what they say? It's the little features that matter. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure now this is good to go. Um, everything's been checked. Um, all the gaskets are in. All the bolts are tight. These are all cleaned out. Uh, front covers has its new FD gasket in there. Um, nah, everything's everything's good. The clutch is all nice and aligned and all tight. So tomorrow now I'm going to stab it in here i still need to take out all these water pipes but i'll do that once the engine's in all right see you tomorrow okay i'm a day behind schedule this engine was supposed to be in yesterday but got a little bit crook on it but yeah she's good to go so i'm just going to plonk it in there now put on some mounts get a couple of the bell housing bolts done and then we'll look at what's going to happen to this next all right <laughs> home but man it sits a lot lower than I remembered shit I thought my um, plenum was gonna be sticking up quite high but she's way down there I've had to take off that back vacuum line it was clashing with that but it's still there I might just have to do a little bit of alterations there but that's not a major but yeah I'll get the mounts on and then we'll have a look After about an hour or so of battling that's in doesn't look too bad but yeah that plenum is sitting really low and i am actually struggling with the engine mount down here i think the back of the plenum is actually hitting that bit there so either i can take that off and just put a bevel on the end of that plenum or i try and smash that piece of um firewall in but the rest of it's all good um that manifold Oh, you can't really see it, but it only just clears that mount down there. But clearance is clearance, I guess. So, oh man, that's it's a long way back. Okay, so now I'll show you what I've got lined up next for this. Yeah, check this thing out. Not 100% sure where it's going to finally sit, but somewhere in there, maybe up here, somewhere like that. 
Man, that's absolutely huge. But that still gives me enough room for an alternator down the back there. Um, this ABS will be going so the exhaust can run straight out there. Um, man, this thing's heavy. Yeah, so something like that. I'll be looking at that on the weekend. Well, anyway, that's um, one step closer to being finished, I guess. It's a pretty big, um, I don't know, what do you want to call it, an achievement to get it back into the car. All bridge ported and rebuilt. But I still have a wicked, wicked long way to go. But it's actually looking quite good. And as I said before, you've got to see all of the top of this. Um, I think that's all that crosses the top of the engine. Anyway, same as before. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Check out the size of this thing next to a Coke bottle. And that's not 600 milliliter. That's bloody, I don't know, 1.5. That thing is a beast. It's gonna be good.